Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at some of the authentication basics of Sitefinity and see how to configure external authentication with a social media provider. Securing the content of your website and making sure the right users have access to the right features and privileges through authentication is crucial for a content management system. Sitefinity uses claims authentication, implemented on top of Identity Server 3, certified by the OpenID Foundation. It allows implementing single sign-on and access control for modern web applications and APIs. The authentication built-in model in Sitefinity brings advantages such as improved security, standardized authentication, and better extensibility. Sitefinity supports out-of-the-box integration with common social media and network authentication providers. Let's say you want to make it easier for users of your website to authenticate by using one of their social media accounts. That way they don't have to remember too many passwords and you provide them with a secure authentication method. In this scenario, you designate one of the social media platforms as a security token issuer. In the next few minutes, we'll go through the steps to show you how to achieve this. Log into the back end of your Sitefinity site and navigate to Administration, Settings, Advanced, Authentication, Security Token Service, Authentication Providers, and select one of the authentication providers. In this video, we'll use Facebook as a provider but all other social media authentication providers have similar configuration settings. But first, let's switch to the Facebook configurations. Once you log into developers.facebook.com, go to My Apps, and then, to create a new app, click Add a New App. Fill out the display name and contact email fields and click Create App ID. To acquire the credentials that you need to log in, you'll need to map the Facebook provider to Sitefinity. Navigate to Settings, Basic, and copy the App ID and App Secret key. Then return to the Facebook Authentication Settings in Sitefinity. Paste the app ID in the Application ID field and the App Secret key in the Application Secret field. Make sure to click the Enabled option and then click Save Changes. Notice that the users registered with this provider are automatically assigned the user's role, which means they don't have access to the back end of Sitefinity. To see the relative path of the STS, return to the Security Token Service page. This path is used for the redirect URIs, which is where the authorization server sends the user once the application is successfully authorized. The complete path for the STS for authentication with Facebook is your domain, plus the relative path, plus sign in hyphen Facebook. Next, you need to add the Facebook login product to your Facebook application. Once again, go to the Facebook for Developers dashboard and click the Setup button of the Facebook login product. You can ignore the Quick Start Guide for now and go to the Settings page of the login product. Under Valid OAuth Redirect URIs, add the complete path of the STS. As a result, users can now log in directly with their Facebook account, yet they don't have access to the backend of your website since they just have the user's role assigned. As you can see, security tokens can be very useful, but they can also be the target of attacks. To prevent attackers from altering or counterfeiting security tokens and gaining unauthorized access to your resources, 
you need to configure the Identity Server Signing Certificate. This certificate is used to verify the issuer of the authentication token and is used by the Sitefinity Identity Provider to sign the Identity Token. Let's take a look at this authentication diagram that visualizes the authentication process. When a request is sent by the browser for a protected source, Sitefinity redirects the request to the Identity Provider. The provider evaluates the token, and if it's deemed authentic, signs with the certificate, and returns it for validation. This is step four in the diagram. You can configure this certificate by navigating to Administration, Settings, Advanced, Authentication, Security Token Service, Identity Server, Signing Certificate. These are a few initial steps you can take to set up your Sitefinity authentication configuration. Find more authentication options by visiting the Sitefinity section of Progress.com, where you can view additional videos, blogs, or documentation. You can also look at our security white paper. Thank you for watching.